What seemed like something out of a Hollywood movie involving zip ties, beanies, and torching of body parts turned into an all-too-real crime scene inside a San Elisario home. Sheriff's deputies were called by a woman on January 5th claiming her brother had been kidnapped. Deputies followed the clues, like giving them to uh, head to a woman to unravel a crime as well as a second victim they knew nothing about before going inside the home. Actually, I thought it was like something relating to drugs. Maria Cervantes is not this woman's real name. She also asked us to hide her face. Cervantes noticed a great deal of activity across the street from her home, not commonly found in an otherwise quiet neighborhood. A lot of people always um, that I didn't trust. I didn't trust leaving my, my fence open because there was always random people going in. According to affidavits provided by El Paso County Sheriff's deputies, Monica and Vaughn Sachs called deputies from this home saying her 42-year-old brother left this home with his girlfriend. The girlfriend returned to this home and told deputies Ramon Aguirre was kidnapped at gunpoint. The girlfriend told deputies where they could find Aguirre. This is video of the day deputies converged on the home and that the sister or the girlfriend were home when we arrived here. According to this affidavit, sheriff's deputies came to this home. You can still see some of the crime scene tape there. They found Ramon Aguirre, but they also found another kidnapped victim. Deputies say they found Aguirre who had been tied with zip ties, his mouth covered with duct tape. Aguirre later told them he was, quote, was kicked and poked with different knives while defendant pointed a shotgun at him. Victim Aguirre stated that he was also burned with a torch light on his right calf. But while deputies were inside questioning Aguirre, they found another man, 18-year-old Ricardo Ramirez. Ramirez told deputies he was being held against his will. Deputies arrested 24-year-old Sergio Rivera, 22-year-old Manuel Luna, 41-year-old Luis Carrillo, 29-year-old Rodolfo Vasquez, and 26-year-old Kim Valderrama. All were booked into the El Paso County Detention Facility and charged with two counts of engaging in organized criminal activity and aggravated kidnapping. Cervantes says she will not sleep well in the coming days because of what she learned. We have been thinking of getting cameras and we're more sure of getting them. Both Aguirre and Ramirez were taken to Del Sol Medical Center where they were treated for their injuries.